Hi, Subhash. Good evening. Hello, ma'am. Good evening. How are you? Yes, I'm doing well. And what about you? How are you? I'm also good. I'm also fantastic. So tell me, how are Diwali preparations going? Right. So you were telling that you are not into Diwali. Yes. Right. Okay. So what about you? Are you preparing for Diwali? It is my four-year-old's one of the favorite festivals. So yeah, this time we will be celebrating Diwali. So how do you celebrate it? Illuminating your house and yes, busting yes. crackers or so what I else? I don't crackers. That's really bad for the environment. So I have started training my son that crackers are not good for you. You are going to okay. inhale a lot of smoke and it's That's going a very to good harm decision. for your health. So no yeah. crackers, but we will be lighting our entire house. We will decorate it with diyas, rangolis and flowers and everything and have good oh. food. <laughs> That's it. No okay. firecrackers. Because so, that is the major thing. It is causing okay. a lot of damage to the environment. Yeah, yeah, that's true. You you have rightly said that actually we should follow this thing. We should not uh, cause any pollution, bursting exactly. crackers. And it also disturbs the animals also. The poor Very animals, true. they don't know about exactly. it. But all of a sudden, they find themselves in some chaos like this. Exactly. Oh, yeah. Exactly. This is good. That is that is very true. I also had two dogs and they used to be so scared during Diwali. Yeah. They used to hide under the bed. They used to climb on our laps. They used to just try to snuggle and try to shut their ears so that they don't hear the loud bangs and booms of the firecrackers. So I know yes. they are very, very scared. So I am training my even, son ever since he was born that no firecrackers. Yeah. Even myself also, I also find it is very uh, disturbing. Uh, often, more often than that, that crackers are bursting uh, in the yes. neighborhood. So yes. what I do that I just don't go out on two days. Actually, these things cause a lot of damage to your psyche because normally we are not used to loud sounds. Normally we are not used to such a foggy, smoggy environment. Pollution is definitely there. There are some things that we cannot avoid. Vehicles yeah. are going to run, public transport is going to run, industries are going to run. But yeah. why add on to it? Just for yes. entertainment purpose. So yeah, it, which can be avoided, why not? Exactly, it can be such. avoided. Yes. Those things can be avoided. Yeah. That actually made you decide that we will not be bursting crackers. <laughs> not only all. that, but I, usually I'm like that. Earlier when I was, uh, what to say, I was a kid. I was very enthusiastic about busting crackers. Before Diwali, I just uh, collect uh, money from my parents or my uh, uncles, aunts, and mm -hmm. buy crackers. And all these things I uh, put on display before uh, this Diwali, and I feel very felt very good at the time. And I actually enjoyed busting though at those times. But gradually, when I grew mm -hmm. up. I felt it's not good and I also not enjoying anymore doing this. I was the same when I turned two. On my first Diwali, my father tells me that he got a whole lot of, a barrel full of crackers and I didn't like it at all. On my second Diwali, when I was able to speak, I was able to understand that, okay, something is going on. There is something known as Diwali. I said, okay, we'll do everything, but we will not be bursting crackers. But far, my dad was very adamant that you are just a kid. You will not understand. It is part of our tradition. It is part of them, everything. And he, again, got a lot of crackers. And I was crying the entire night. After that, my dad never bought crackers. <laughs> Till this oh. day, we are oh, kind of like a firecracker. You still crackers. remember those days? My mother was... told me. My mother actually <laughs> told me. I don't know what told me. <laughs> okay, I was just wondering how come that she remember all those things. And so my mom just remembers. Too. She told me the story. Because <laughs> when my okay. son was born, again my dad got very enthusiastic, and uh, he was like, "Now we will again start bursting firecracker. We will celebrate Diwali the way it should be." He's very fond of firecrackers. Then my to mom told the story to remind him that this happened. Please. There should be no repeat episode of the entire night of crying on a festival. <laughs> kids so what kids. about your uh, son? He, uh, he is enthusiastic? Mm, no. He also doesn't love like these bang bang noises. Boom, boom noises. 
he also gets a little scared he likes light he likes the dia huh. light candles he will come with me he will light everything he will switch on the fairy light he likes all those decorations he doesn't like fire candles so right now it's so easy for me but maybe in future he decides that i also want to burst fire crackers but i am yeah. trying to instill this in him that it's not good for you it's not good for your health it's not good for environment because these yeah, things well, are uh, <clears throat> a lot of damage mm, but sometimes uh, the influence of their friends also exactly. do something exactly yeah. exactly right now he is four so it's easier to convince him when he's <laughs> 10 or 13 it will be difficult <laughs> yes let's see. maybe i'll have a different approach by then maybe i'll have more experience by then then i will also change my approach yeah my approach at the time handling it you you will have to devise a new plan how to convince <laughs> him <laughs> exactly <laughs> But since you don't burst firecrackers what are the things that you do on the wall only a thing that we oh, light some candles and lamps and okay. yeah this much only Not, okay. Um, not much we do. All right. So cleaning and everything is done. Yes. Right. Okay. All right. Now I think we still have some minutes on our hands, so mm-hmm. we can have an extempore. Okay. Okay. We got us. We still have some time, so let's have an extempore session. Okay. Okay. Since I don't think you would have received any topic. It's your two hundred and fifty seventh or fifty eighth session, yes, and I yes. didn't receive any topic from yes, the yes. bingo team. So I'm guessing <laughs> you might not have received it as well. So I'll yeah. give you one and think about it. Take your time. Take one minute to think about it, and then start talking about it. Let's have a extent. Okay. How to control traffic problem of India? How to control traffic? problem of india what okay. rules and regulations can be brought into law okay the first thing comes to my mind is that when a traffic problem is there it is the population of our country yes. we are yes. a very popular uh, populous country yes. so if we could control that one in uh, the government is trying hard uh, to uh, implement this a uh, family planning all this thing but it is not happening the way the uh, government wants mm. if that happened there would not have been such problem this is the first thing and then the awareness among the people there are so many uh, rules and regulations are there but the people bother about the rules and mm. we are always in a haste to go to our destination irrespective mm. of the fact that there is a red light and while i uh going somewhere i don't bother about the uh, other people i just always think about myself i should reach mm-hmm. that uh, in time or like that mm-hmm. so we should be aware that while i we doing so we should not create inconvenience to our uh, other people that mm-hmm. going with us also mm-hmm. and observing the rules and regulations is another thing and there are some uh, lanes which are very narrow if it is possible mm. the government can take a step to widen those roads that will yeah. also help i think these are the main things that uh, traffic rule, uh, traffic can be controlled very true uh, you might have remembered a couple of years back delhi government introduced one rule of odd and even yeah and yeah i remember that years. Yes, and yes. It yes. was a humongous failure. That was a very good attempt, but it was a huge failure. Now everything is back on track. Everybody is moving whenever they want to. So do yes. you think such a policy could have been implemented in a better way? And in what way should it be implemented? Actually, that's again it comes to my mind that we do not follow the rules and regulations set by the government. In our city also, I have seen. all of a sudden government uh, announced that the traffic should observe this kind of things like city bus run applying on the roads they should not stop uh, mm-hmm. they should stop only in the designated stoppage mm-hmm. not mm-hmm. in the middle of the road mm-hmm. one or two days it will go well and everything is going well but again it comes back to the same previous state of affairs that they they will stop 
anywhere you just mm. raise your hand to stop a bus it will stop it will pick you up and go so that's how it disturbs the other traffic mm. that is also if we don't follow the rules it will that's also a part of and it. at the same time uh, the implementing agency like the police mm. they should also be strict while uh, when they observe such things that uh, the bus uh, drivers are not uh, following the rules and they should be uh, they should take strict action but yes. we don't see that police are also looking the other way the drivers are doing their beats so or else if they to... look in that that direction they are trying to make money out of it they yeah that is the... <laughs> yeah they are openly they are doing this openly they are doing it yeah that that's why the drivers are very desperate they don't uh, they don't listen to the uh, commuters they do mm. on the, uh, what they feel like what they feel like yes because they know ultimately they'll have to pay a little amount and they will just go free yes. and do whatever they wish to do yes so it is trying to curtail it by imposing fines big fines on people who are breaking traffic rules and yeah. they have installed n number of cctv cameras throughout the nation in order yeah. to monitor traffic but things are slowly picking up but the pace is very slow at the moment yes yes you are right and these things happen in our city also recently we have observed this that if any car park uh, wrongly in some places mm. where is no parking area now what we get uh, a chalan uh, in yes. our whatsapp mm. and we have to pay through online also so we yes. don't get any uh, there is no any argument with the police or yes. the other authority we get the chalan and we'll have to pay so this is yes. uh, mm, uh, i Creating mean some the, change a little yes. dent yes 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 okay and what about car pooling what are your thoughts about car pooling Carpooling is a very good idea because of not only uh, this controlling, it will help in controlling traffic jam. At the same time, it also uh, uh, help us consuming less fuel, and the commuters will have to pay less amount of money while commuting to their office or any other places that they are going. That is also very good. But what you know that the people have money, they want to show off. They don't. Yeah. they they don't like the idea of car pooling they even in some cases i have seen the peop, uh, some people have two or three cars the yeah. uh, husband is taking one car the wife is taking another and the children is taking the another car so really? in our country show up is another thing yeah. that we get to see yes. to showcase to the world that they are living in luxury Yes, we have money. We are showing. Otherwise, how can we show that we have money? So this is another <laughs> thing. They feel proud and, that they have money. Yes, and it's also causing a lot of damage to our environment. Yes, because we are That's depleting true. fossil fuels. We are creating so much pollution, noise pollution, air pollution. We are increasing the number of footfall. We are increasing yes. carbon footprint of the universe. I'll say. So yes. these things are also damaging it, and people yes, are yes. only concerned about themselves. I feel the first root of this problem is selfishness of human beings. <laughs> That's what I told you initially. That right. everybody is thinking about themselves only. That right. I have to reach my destination. I don't care about others. Exactly. Uh, somehow I have to reach my destination. Yes. <laughs> if this mindset can be tackled and this can be tackled by human beings themselves no government authority can do anything yes, no, yes. no other entity can do anything every human yes. being needs to realize that we belong on earth and we have got only one place to live we can yes. imagine that we will colonize on other planets but it's not going to happen for another 200 years i'll say <laughs> not any yes, way and even if it happens in 50 years from today you and i will be old <laughs> it will be our kids who will be able to avail the benefit, not us. So at least make this place happy for us. <laughs> Even then, it will be better for the future generation. Better late than never. Exactly. Happens, better late than never. Cool. Very yeah. true. Very true. <laughs> okay, that's actually cool. Let's hope it happens. You never know yeah. what God has 
you never know maybe one not... day all of us wake up and decide that okay we will be selfless towards yes. the nature towards the environment since it's yes. giving us so much we will also try to give something positive back to it yes we should not lose our hopes yes hope is one thing that keeps human beings just thriving we are here yeah. at this position because somebody hoped that we will be able to fly one day that's how aeroplane yeah. was invented we will yes. be able to see in dark that's how electricity came into being yes so, it may happen you never know <laughs> okay i'll give you your feedback also now because you know the session will end at 8 oh <laughs> yes yes sure yeah okay you are speaking well quite confident good vocabulary everything is good just your the sounds are coming like when you were using the term observing instead of observing it was turn, turning into j observing your is was yeah. turning into is so focus on this aspect this pronunciation okay. itself otherwise it's okay. absolutely fantastic that everything is good you okay. have had a lot of practice as well and it's showing in your communication just focus okay. on this pronunciation part on okay. this aspect thank you. itself otherwise okay. it's absolutely fine your diction is also very cool <laughs> Thank you, thank you very so much. Is and... was and observing these things. <laughs> <laughs> so wish you a happy Diwali ahead of. Same to you. Yeah. <laughs> and I'll see and you there. And I think you will help in illuminating Lucknow as others are doing. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hope so. <laughs> <laughs> and you'll do the same for your city, Guwahati. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. <laughs>